Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. Today we're working on an abstract, beautiful little sunset landscape. Um, it's based off another fun one that I did earlier on my own, um, but this one's a little bit different. So um, I go over things step by step. It's wet on wet. It's a lot of fun. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Um, don't forget to check out my Patreon right here. Um, I have exclusive tutorials and traceables right over there on um, Patreon and I have traceables that go with my YouTube channel and ad free videos there. It's a place people can go and support my channel, which I appreciate. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, for this uh, particular exercise, I'll go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. This is like a seven by 10. I just taped it down to a nice, thick, sturdy piece of cardboard with scotch tape. I have my craft brush. It's like a half inch, I mean, excuse me, an inch craft brush. Um, I'll be using my Princeton number 10 Neptune brush. Palette paints, I go over them as I use them. Water jar, paper towel, of course. So this is the, f I decided to try and play around first. Um, and then it's what I came up with. So we're gonna play around with making this. Um, you're also gonna need either like a, an old credit card um, and some alcohol ink, which is this white titanium, white alcohol ink. If you don't have alcohol ink, and I'm sorry, no, al acrylic ink, um, you could try and you do it with the um, watered down white gouache. Sometimes it works just as well. So yeah, either one other one's fine because the acrylic ink is kind of like alcohol based and it just does this little cool um, cauliflower kind of thing in here. So we're just gonna be really kind of working fast and just putting color upon color. And I have in my palette, um, Cadmium Yellow Deep, Quinacridone Magenta, Burnt Umber, Peacock Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Prussian Blue, and Brilliant Orange. And we'll be playing around with just using all these colors. So first I'm gonna just grab some water on my brush and I'm gonna probably put it like up to like the top to like three fourths down of the page. Get a fair amount. I'm just gonna play around with washing color in and taking color out. So what I did was I just put all this color, watercolor in here and I just took this brush, I'm using the same craft brush, and I'm just loosening up some of that magenta and some of this brilliant orange. And I'll clean up my brush. And I just played around with putting the color in. Some of the pink in here. And the orange. So you have that like Sunsetty kind of sky. Put some orange up in here. See, I'm just going like this with my brush. And this one's probably going to look a lot different than the first one, but I'm trying to give you an idea of what I did the first time. If it starts to pull on the side, it's always good to have a loose paper towel close by. Lift up all the mess. So that's what the, we're just going to wash in some of the pink and the orange colors that we want first. That's really intense. Don't forget, it will dry lighter too, by the way. So we got the orange and the pink colors in. Now we clean off our brush and I'm gonna to start to grab some blues. I have my peacock blue, my ultramarine blue. Kind of mix them together if I wanted to. Just play around with that. Oh, I didn't forgot to mention that I'm going to be using some Payne's gray too. And I put some blue in between and blue up in here. You can make this sky as bright or as dark as you want. So I'm just kind of wiggling all that paint in here. Now on this side of my palette, I have like all these grays in here. I'm just gonna grab some grays, grab some pinks gray, and I'm gonna put that in here. See, just really loose under the cloud over here in our orange area. I do wanna keep this really bright down here. So I'm gonna have to go back down in there again. Just gonna go back in. This is like a, you know, I'm just playing around in here, adding some darker grays in here, getting that darker sky cloud. And we can remove it if we don't like it. But down here, I want to clean up my brush. I do want to get some brighter pinks down in here. 
brighter pink and and some of that orange really want to get some of that bright right down in there it will come into play later we really just want that bright color there so we got that dark kind of cloud we can go back in and add some blues just going to add some blue in here blue back in here get that peacock blue now it's pretty like wet on wet right now <laughs> we're going to be taking out some paint too i'm going to put some blues down in here I got some bright blues, some darker blues, and that pan's gray. And really pretty sky though, isn't it? It's a lot of fun. Play around with it, guys. Don't get bogged down and like, it doesn't look exactly the same. It doesn't look the same. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to be kind of your creation. I'm just showing you how you just go about doing this. You know, putting in the sky here. I'm gonna go back in and add some gray up here. There's no rhyme and reason to these to these skies and and whatnot. Mine might seem a little bright, so I might lift up some. You know, it's good to use this brush, or I might use my Princeton pen to lift up some of the paint. See, you just clean up your brush and you're just kind of mopping it, twisting it, lift up some of the paint. I do want to go back in though and add some blue, blue up here. A little bit darker, I might add a little brown to that. Like I said, if it starts to pull on the sides, just take your paper towel, kind of swipe it up. Just going to keep going in and adding a little bit more. This one I'm going to make a little bit different, a little darker. See, adding a little tense blue. And if I don't like it, I can try and remove a little bit of it with my brush, and I'll show you in a second. Oh, that got real intense. But that's okay. I like that too. I do want to just keep this stuff down here really bright. Okay. Little dots in there. So you never know what kind of cool sky you can create. And if I wanted to make a little bit lighter clouds, I'll just clean off my brush. See, I cleaned it off. And again, kind of just lift up the paint, tap it on the paper towel. Lift up the paint, tap it on the paper towel. Lift up the paint, twist it. You see how it's doing that? Just like that. Now, at this point, we're going to play around with the greens because I'm kind of liking this funky sky. It's a little bit different than the last one, but that's okay. I'm going in, maybe grab a little more paint off here. You got to play around with it, you know, but you have to clean up your brush, kind of mop it up to get that cloud. play around with all this good stuff if you want to go back in and add some gray just to like even out that blue tone a little bit so many different ways you can do this see I had a little more intense gray in this one this section just kind of play around adding some color in here Okay, I digress because I don't want to overwork it. I feel like it's starting to get a little overworked. And I liked that blue that I just took out. So I might go back in and add it, a little blue. The, the, the little brush, you see it's so wet, it'll still blend, even though you got this little teeny brush making all those marks. You could go back in and, and grab. the blue I 
do want to lift up some of this here. Go back in and add some orange. This one's going to be a little bit different than the last one. But you get the idea. Okay, so down in this section here, we're going to be doing our greens. So I'm going to get this wet. It's still wet on wet up here. I don't want it to have this cauliflower edge, so I'm going to have to kind of erase it. Just don't let that dry. So I'm getting that wet. Just like I got the top wet. And now I'm just going to take all my yellows and blues and make greens. So I have my cadmium yellow deep, peacock blue, a little bit of burnt ember. So putting in some greens down here. Sorry. <laughs> just see how I'm just really quickly just throwing in these greens, these yellows. That's how I do it. Just really quick. And then I'm going to get intense with the color with blues and browns. So I've got that Prussian blue, Camille Deep. I've got this really deep dark. See, I'm still using this brush. I'm kind of tapping it like this. It's good to use some of that burnt umber. Again, going like this. Just kind of twisting my brush. I'll take some of that Prussian blue, go right in there. See, I'm just kind of constantly mixing it. See, we're building up our trees. It, right now, it looks like completely different than the last one, but we're going to build up a little higher. We want the trees a little higher. Again, grabbing some yellows. Oops. I'm just kind of twisting my brush here. You can also, at this point, flip it. So I'm going to whip. I want to lift up some of the paint here that's pooling. I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to grab some of those greens, just kind of tap them in here. Whatever loose greens you have. And they'll start to bleed downward like little trees. Those little spiky ends, you know. We always like to do. Just kind of tapping the color, get some more Prussian blue, pulling the greens down. See, as it bleeds down, creates the kind of tree that you like, the little fuzzy kind of tree. You can go in, grab your other moppy kind of Princeton brush, put in a different color, I'm making that really bright green. Again, go back in and make a dark green, just kind of tapping that. I'll flip it back and see how it looks. So we're getting there. I'm going to put some down in here. A little more green. We kind of want to keep that opening, right? So you can kind of just put some of this down in here. We want to keep that little opening right there with that beautiful little orange. Keep a little swipes if you want. Of color. We really just want to keep that opening. At this point, we can go back then and add some more greens with some browns kind of down in here. You can just take some of that brilliant orange, just go right in here too. You want to just mix up some colors. We don't want it all be flat the screen, throwing in some of that brilliant orange. Give it some of that rustic look. Again, down here, you can take some blues. See? Now this is still a little too flat, so we'll take our big brush. Working pretty fast here, by the way. I know it, it might be hard, but try it. You can do it. So, grabbing some of this yellows. We don't want this metal to dry too light. 
So here I'm just grabbing some green, darker greens, and some just going like that. In this section here. So it's going to look a little different than the first one. But that's the beauty. You guys can create different ones all the time. See that? I kind of like this dark and light in front. All the fun you can do. So this is when you kind of like, you've, you've got your trees kind of growing in here. They're looking kind of good. It's getting a hard edge in here. So you might go in with the brush, this floppy brush, with this pretty yellowy green. And just kind of like tap, tap, tap. Little ones out top. Little ones, little ones. Like this. You don't want that weird hard edge. See? Tap, 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 tap. Same thing out here. Just little teeny taps. It's already dried, so you get those little taps that look like leaves. If you can zoom in so you can see. See? You know, it's a good thing to also try to hold your brush on its side. And you just kind of move it around like this. When it's a dry, when it's drier, it has a better technique, but put some little leaves up there, green. See, just making these little tap, tap, taps. That's that. And then here too, because that was hard right there on the edge. You see that? You still have that nice peek through. Right? And a little down here, I'll grab some darker green, some green, some brown, some blue. Get a little darker down in here. So I'm really liking this. I think this looks even kind of cooler than the last one. <laughs> That's what happens. You have fun doing this and you just, you don't even know what to expect. I added different color skies and Look at that. I thought that one, the first one was right on, but no, nope. See, going out a few more dark tones in here. But did you see how that, just working kind of fast and simple. Now I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of darker tones. Just kind of tapping them in here. And they'll bleed a little bit. If it's too dark, you can kind of lift it a little bit. I grab a little uh, orange, throw some of that orange in there. You want some variety in the tones. You don't want it to be all just this green mass. So you get that blue, the Prussian blue. Put some more dark green Prussian blue back here. It's looking a little too light. Now we're gonna do that swipe for the birch tree, but uh, you know, we're gonna have to wait a bit. <laughs> Cause remember sometimes when you swipe it, it, uh, it comes back, it, the, the color folds back into itself. So we're gonna play around with the acrylic ink at this point. Shake it up. Now if you have white gouache, you can do that. And then you're gonna take, just not, not a great brush, not a crappy brush, but a decent brush. I'm just gonna grab this old Princeton brush that I have here. And I do wanna grab a piece of paper, kinda of cover this top part. And I just take another brush and just kind of go, oh, the magic. Look at the fun. The first one had some big draughts. So you can also go in and just kind of tap it woo, and make some bigger ones. If you feel really insecure about throwing that paint down like I just did, you can just tap it and it will bleed, do these beautiful bleeds. The problem is when you're tapping it like that, it's not natural looking. 
You know what I mean? It doesn't have that free fall look. So it might have that real, well, I just created this. Look at that kind of look. <laughs> but I just want some bigger ones. So let's see. Oh, the magic. <laughs> the fun you can have, guys. I do want to get a bigger one in front. There we go. It won't dry this white. If you looked at um, my other one, it's going to dry really, really light. See? So right now it might seem intense to you. Don't freak out. It's not going to dry that white. It's going to eventually dry really nice and light. It's going to have that cool look. So now let's try and see how our card is going to do this. If it's going to be, it's going to fold. Try one and see if the paint folds back into itself. We don't want it to do that. This is the fun part. Oh yeah. Okay, so you're gonna scrape and you're gonna make those trees. Some bigger ones in the front. Smaller ones in the back. Party in the back. And see how I'm kind of curving it this way and that way? Little ones down here. And get bigger as you go in front and you kind of want to tilt them now the more you kind of hold it on its side the bigger the scrape there you go don't forget to scrape little branches as you're doing it little teeny ones down here A little teeny tree you might want a little bit bigger And then you get the branch. But look at that fun, guys. I just love to scrape the trees. It's so therapeutic. Da -na -na, just scraping the little branches. I mean, really, I scrape this one a little bit bigger. This is the best. Now, at this point, we do want to put some shadows by the trees. So I'm going to grab that Princeton brush again, create some of that Prussian blue and greens. I'm just going to tap in here, not touch the white part, but just around the tree, on the ground, just some darker tones while it's still very damp. You see? And then even back in here. Don't hit the uh, the white part. Just right by the tree. Grab a little more blue. It doesn't have to be green. You can add some blues. Are we not creating magic today? We are creating some magic. I mean, seriously, guys. So then at this point, you can take this brush and then grab some light green paint, kind of flop around some, as it's drying, some leaves like we did before. Just little delicate leaves. See? Just put in little taps. And then you can do some darker ones up here. You want the paint to be pretty thick, not much water to do this. Getting those little taps. Sometimes when you, you know, if you get another brush, it's not so wet and you can do some dry brush like this. See how I'm just kind of tapping it on its side. Moving it around like that. You get that dry brush technique. Just like that. Don't want to do, overdo it, you know? We don't want to overdo this. Um, you can also take a small brush at this point. It's still damp though, so be careful. 
you can try and play around if it's going to draw if it's going to just bleed then you might not want to do it so i'm going to create a nice deep dark bluish green and you can go back in and put these little teeny branches in here just really delicate I'm just going to add another element to your painting that's just going to make it stand out it has to be minimal water to do this and again you can go back in and add some more of those little delicate leaves that I showed you before just going in and adding little teeny branches just like that but I think it's looking quite lovely and you could go in while it's still damp and put little teeny scrapes little branches don't go overboard I mean you can go crazy with the credit card now see some of the paint fell into the scrape part which is fine that looks kind of cool too but there you go and then it's still a little damp if you want to go back in and I took one of my brushes I wanted to get a little bit darker in here be careful not to go around the white too much the little white splats we made I did want a little bit darker here gotta be a little bit careful just because you don't want to ruin that, that pretty splattering that we did you know and if you want to go in and put some nice little grasses too which I didn't do in the first one so many different things you can just go in and add take a nice light color here like a yellowish greenish brown color just nice swoopy grasses in the front you can put a few in the back too I didn't have that in the first one but like I said everything changes that's why you constantly gotta just keep trying new stuff but I think I dig this one better I don't know about you guys and like I said if that seems too bright you know if it's drying just bright you can go in and just tap it paper towel and it will lighten up you don't want it too bright in the background right you want the front part to be nice and bright the background not so much that's all you do you just kind of tap it a little bit in here too yeah <laughs> and again I might just take some real bright yellow just kind of go in here this sun is like setting and it's on the little leaves just kind of tapping that color in here just in that section there like a little bright yellow in here And there you go guys so let's lift up our little tape so i lifted up the tape to reveal the beauty is up oh, got a little bleed there that's okay now it's still kind of damp if you wanted to if it's still damp you could go in and lift up some paint but i think that's pretty dry by now i kind of like the clouds being like that down in here you know peeking through just another fun little simple landscape for you guys to try. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon. On Thursdays, I have exclusive tutorials and traceables to go there. And it's a place people can go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. So take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.